this is gonna be good. Thank you for stopping back by Just Peeling Barbecue. Today, we're gonna do a small three pound Angus cowboy steak. Um, I've never done one this big, this thick, but we're gonna do it today. A lot, it's intimidating for a lot of people because people don't know how to get the inside done without burning the outside. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. So first, let's get this thing seasoned up. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is put a little olive oil on it. Use that as a binder for the rub that we're going to use today. It's really well trimmed, so I didn't really have to do anything to it. But we're going to put a little olive oil over all of it. And now let's get this thing seasoned up. So today what we're going to use is Whiskey Bent Barbecues, The Rocks. It is made for red meat, any kind of red meat. And you can see it's got some coarse garlic and black pepper salt other seasonings in there we're going to kind of press that in and just for good measure we're going to season pretty much everything on this steak all the way around the edges all the way down the back and then flip it over and get to the other side Now you got to think this is a really thick piece of meat, so you need to season this thing liberally because it can take it. Press that in. One more coat for good measure. And now we're going to let it sit back in the fridge while we get the uh, smoker set up. I'll bring you back when that, we get that done. All right, today we're going to be cooking on the Traeger Pro 575. Uh, we're going to start out low and slow at 225 degrees and get some smoke on it until it reaches an internal temperature of about 110 degrees. Then we're going to pull that steak off and while it's resting a little bit we're going to crank the temperature up and then we're going to come back and sear it off. Um, I'm also going to utilize the, the temperature probe that comes with the Pro 575 inserted about midway through the steak so it gets that accurate internal temperature. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. Cut it up to 225 and it's igniting, okay? Once this thing comes up to temperature, we'll get the steak on, insert the temp probe, and we'll let it go till it reaches 110 degrees, utilizing the flavors from the rocks from Whiskey Bent Barbecue. It's gonna be a good time, man. Stay tuned. All right, this Pro 575 is up to temperature 225 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and get this cowboy steak on. I'm gonna flip it over right in the center of the grill. And now I'm gonna get my temp probe. Slide it right through the provided insert slot and go right in the center, probably three fingers in. And that's it. Now we're gonna let it go until the internal temp of about 110 degrees. And then I'll bring you back and show you what we're gonna do next. Okay, now we've reached 110 degrees internal temperature on this cowboy steak. Now I'm gonna take the probe out, remove it and let it rest while we crank this all the way up on high as it'll go. And uh, then we're gonna get some sear marks on it or, or get a sear on it. And let me take this out first, remove the probe. Go ahead and remove that steak, but look at that steak so far. Beautiful. Beautiful. So let's take this off and we're going to let it rest, put it inside. Now, what I've got in here is a little pan of uh, Amish butter and Traeger's uh, Summer Shanty rub. And I'm going to let that melt down on here. 
and we're going to use that as a base for this steak and I'm going to put some grill grates on there to let that heat up as well and if you've got grill grates at home use them it's a great tool to utilize in your backyard shut that back down let's crank this thing up and we're going to go 450 boom and we're ready to rock and roll we're going to get this inside let it rest let it come up to 450 and then when it gets there we're going to put this thing on and get a sear on it all right we got the traeger pro 575 set at 450 degrees right now it's at 455 i've got the grill grates on i've got some butter with some summer shanty in there we're going to base this steak with we're fixing to do it up let's get it on Get some good contact with those grill grates. Put a little bit of this butter right over the top. Let's get the lid closed. All right, that's the timer that's featured on this controller on the Pro 575. I set it for four minutes. Now we're fixing to spin it and set it for four more minutes. Get a little more basting in here. Get the lid closed and we're going to go four more minutes by the way i do have glove liners on so that's how i turn it with my gloves so just be aware of that four more minutes there we go all right the alarm just went off on the pro 575 i'm fixing to flip it over now And that, my friends, is beautiful. Now we're going to baste this side with some butter and summer shanty. Now this other side, I'm not as concerned with grill marks as I am getting to my internal temperature of about 130 degrees. If I can stop at about 128 or, or a little bit sooner, then I'll do that. But that's what we're uh, concerned with. And I'm going to be checking that with my Thermapen Mark IV. So in just a few minutes, I'm going to go ahead and check the internal temp and see where we're at. All right, right now we're at 130 degrees on the Thermapen Mark IV. So it's time to pull this thing off. All right, let's do a recap before we uh, get started on this taste test. I had this cowboy steak. It's an Angus cowboy steak. From Sam's Club is where I got it. We cooked today on the Pro 575 uh, from Traeger. And uh, we cooked it at 225 until the internal temp of 110. Then we cranked it up to 450 degrees. At one point it was at 462. We used some grill grates to get some nice grill marks on it. And now we're going to do a taste test. So let's do it. And I'm just going to slice right into it. Right across the middle and see... Uh, what kind of doneness we got here wow that went through like butter that went through like butter look at that beautiful probably a medium i would say beautiful all right now i'm anxious to do a taste test to see how this thing tastes i'm just gonna cut it right across that's a big piece. Cut that in half. Juice is running everywhere. I mean, let's try it. Great steak flavor. I mean, just like you would get at a high-end steakhouse. Tender, really juicy. A little hint of the rub, but not too much. You get more of the beef flavor than anything else, which is what you want with a steak. It's beautiful. 
And he look at the juice going across the board. Wonderful cook. Share this video. Subscribe if you haven't. I appreciate you being here. Until next time, we'll be piddling. Hey guys, thank you for stopping back by Just Piddling Barty. Bar All right, the Pro 7...